Hey you guys, in this digest, Tesla is making an electric van for boring company, Cybertruck is a lunar rover, and a fifth booster launch. About Tesla. Model 3 sales in China jumped to record high. In April, Tesla sold 3,635 made-in-China Model 3s, but China was first in the Covid crisis and first out, so car sales have been growing for the past two months. In May, Tesla sold 11,095 cars. And more news from China. Tesla launched a Model Y configurator in China, which is a surprising decision since it's more than six months before deliveries. Just like in the US, there are long range and performance options. The price starts at $68,000. Tesla is also getting ready for the Chinese fleet to grow and is planning to install 4,000 superchargers by the end of this year. Mind you, over the last five years, Tesla has deployed only 2,500 supercharger stalls in the country. Speaking of charging, Cattle Chairman, in his interview to Bloomberg, said they're ready to produce a battery that lasts 16 years and 2 million kilometers. According to Bloomberg, Chinese Model 3s will get the new batteries first, but it's not that certain. The Cattle representative said that if someone places an order, they're ready to produce, meaning we won't find out anything before Tesla battery day, really. So far, it's not clear if Cattle and Tesla develop the battery together or Cattle produces its own batteries to sell them to Tesla and other car makers. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments. There's a rumor Tesla and the UK government are discussing a new factory. According to Property Week, the Department for International Trade is seeking a 4 million square foot site for Tesla's new factory. Meanwhile, Tesla Model 3 becomes the best-selling car in the UK for the second month in a row, having sold 852 cars in May. An Instagram user, Charlie Automotive, showed Cybertruck as a lunar rover. Looks… quite safe? But boring company. San Bernardino County has chosen Boring Company for construction of a 4.5km high-speed tunnel linking Rancho Cocamonga with Ontario International Airport. The company representatives built that Tesla is making 12 passenger electric vans. The system will be able to transport 1,200 people per day or more than 10 million per year. At the same time, the Boring Company applied to extend its Las Vegas loop to Wynn Hotel and Casino. About SpaceX NASA gave official permission to SpaceX to launch Hughes Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon vehicles in the commercial crew program, starting with the second commercial flight. Looks like Endeavour will fly again. If you're already tired of news about Crew Dragon and started missing Starlink, the 60 satellites launched this week just for you. It was the fifth launch for this booster. It landed on the platform. Just look at this beautiful thing. This is the new record for SpaceX reusability and hopefully not the last one. SpaceX CEO Gwyn Shotwell congratulated the whole team with the successful Crew Dragon launch in her email to employees. Since the launch took place during protests in the US, she also emphasized SpaceX has zero tolerance to any type of discrimination, and Gwyn will meet with African-American employees to have more in-depth conversations about their experience at work and discuss what the company can do to improve. Last but not least, Starship Progress. The 150-meter SN4 hop is now planned for SN5 within the next few weeks. The fifth prototype transportation and cryo test should take place soon. While the launch site is being cleared after the SN4 explosion, the sixth prototype is showing off its new parts. And the seventh is finally shaping up to look like its older siblings. In his email to employees, Elon Musk said Starship is the new top priority for the company. And that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week.